So the AI battle for our research souls has started in earnest. And unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen a lot of AI tools that promise you to get rid of all your possible problems with writing papers, reading the literature, and so on. So in this video, I want to review two very popular tools, Jenny AI and Paper Power. These are both fantastic tools if you want to write your text using AI. And I'm also going to show you in this video how to use both of them ethically so that you actually avoid plagiarism, which is very important because with both tools, you do risk being caught by Turnitin or other software and your text being flagged as AI created or as plagiarism. So we're going to compare, it's going to be a side-by-side -side comparison, um, which of these two tools is better and which of them is better for you because they are both different, they have different features and they're going to work better for different people and different purposes. So let's dive right in and let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish research papers in top journals in the field. So we're going to be comparing PaperPal and Jenny AI. Um, they're very similar and both very good writing tools. So you might have been wondering which of them is better, which of them you know, really helps me to write academically and avoid plagiarism at the same time, because that's a big concern. Both of them make a big promise that they, they are basically the future of academic writing and that they can supercharge your writing. So in this video, I want to dive a little bit deeper and see how true those claims are. Now, mind you, this is not going to be a full in-depth review of each of those tools. I've got other videos on each of them where I go into much more depth about all the features, but I want to more compare what each tool offers so that you can choose the best tool for you. Okay, so um, let's dive right in and let's start with um, Jenny. So you need to create your free account. Jenny is free to start and there's obviously a paid plan as well. But if you want to get started for free, I put um, um, a link right below this um, video and that you can click on and it will take you to Jenny. And if you want to get the paid plans, um, you can use the coupon code MAREK20 and it will give you a 20% off um, on all Jenny paid plans as well, just for new users. That's important. So Jenny is a fully online tool, which means like you, you can't use it with your traditional text editors like Microsoft Word or maybe, you know, Google Docs or um, whatever, those, those kind of tools. You can only use it online on Jenny's um, library, right? On Jenny's website, sorry. Now, PaperPal, um, it's also free to start and it's got um, paid plans and um, I'll put the link um, below and the coupon code to um, PaperPal. If you use that um, link, that referral link, you're going to get $10 off on PaperPal as well, which is a pretty good deal. So if you log in, what I, what I wanted to mention is that PaperPal, you can use it both online, right? And create a web document or you can install an MS Word add-in. Right, let me show you how that works in Word. Once you've installed it, you'll be able to open PaperPal um, here and it will open in a nice new window. So I think, you know, side by side comparison number one, I think a huge advantage of PaperPal is that it works with Microsoft Word and Jenny only works um, online. You can export text at the end to Word, for example, or to Latex or whatever other software you're working with. But I think just right off the bat, a huge advantage for me is that I can just continue using my traditional software, use Zotro, for example, for referencing as I've always been. You might already have text that you've written in Microsoft Word, so you can just, you know, plug in PaperPal and continue using um, Word, which I think is a huge advantage, right? So I think in here, uh, PaperPal wins slightly. Now, how do you start writing documents? It's pretty simple. You just click on new document in here and you start with Jenny, you start with a prompt, right? And the more detailed the prompt, the better answer you're going to get, right? And it will create an outline um, for you as well, which I think is great. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to write out the prompt um, right now, but I, I already have 
um, in here. And it's created this outline for me, basically, right? Which is, it's pretty accurate uh, to what I want. And it's a great start, I think, you know, a lot of us often just get stuck at the writing stage and we, you know, we kind of don't know how to even um, structure our text and what should be written. So I think this can give you, um, this can speed up the process because you avoid the blank page syndrome and you know, you've got the major sections and then you can dive in and start writing in those sections. So I think it helps you to overcome that first um, hurdle. So I think, you know, points to Jenny um, for this and being able to do that. Uh, with PaperPal, you can also um, generate things. So it's got this feature called templates and it can generate outlines of different things for you. So it can be a research article, case report, essay, statement of purpose. It can also generate abstract and stuff like this. Now, I think the disadvantage of PaperPal is that you can't really generate, for example, a literature review, right? It's just limited to these things. So if you're writing, also, let's say you're writing a, a thesis and you want to generate a, a chapter, an outline of a chapter of your PhD thesis, like the introduction chapter, you can't do it with um, PaperPal. It's just limited to the outlines that they have here. Now, on the flip side, I think the advantage of this is that you don't have to write a really good prompt, right? And that can sometimes be difficult because Jenny will, the output that Jenny gives you and the outline that, it, that she gives you will only be as good as the prompts that, that you've given it, right? But if you don't know how to write that prompt, then you're going to get worse output, right? So let's say if I was to um, select a research article in here, okay, I can select which section, which is, which is really nice, right? Because uh, you will be focusing on specific sections, right? So we can select the introduction. Now, a great thing about it, I think, is that it tries to tailor it to specific fields of study. Now, at the same time, this is a big disadvantage. Why? Because it's just limited to physical sciences, life sciences, and medicine. But what about if you're in social sciences, broadly speaking? What about if you're in humanities and arts, right? So it's very limited in terms of, you know, kind of which fields of study um, are allowed um, in here, which I think is, you know, for me, for example, I'm in social sciences, I'm in education, I wouldn't really be able to do it. Well, I can still generate an outline, but it won't be as accurate for me. So I think people at PaperPal, if you're listening to it, please add other fields of study. Not everybody is in physical, medical sciences and, and life sciences. Right. And then obviously you need to describe your study um, a little bit. So you probably want to give it a name. What's the purpose of the study and, and so on. Right. Uh, so you describe it here and then you would click on generate. So in here, I would say my personal preference, Jenny wins here um, a little bit, not by much, but it does win because it does have more versatility. You can just basically generate any sort of outline you wish for the text, not just limited to, let's say, a section of a research paper and not just limited to certain fields like it is with paper. So um, what what else um, can Jenny AI and PaperPal do? Um, I'll talk about the big difference, which with Jenny AI is referencing. And that's, I think, a great feature of Jenny AI. So you can see I've inserted some references um, in here. The way you do that is you basically uh, type um, at. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this reference and I'm going to type at. And what Jenny is going to do is use the, the available academic databases to search for articles with these keywords. So you can see that it already knows what keywords to use based on the sentence that you've written, right? You could obviously type in other keywords if you wanted to, if you think those aren't accurate. And then you can scroll through these articles and, you know, view them in a new tab so that you can actually read that article and check if the reference is correct. Or if you already know that article, you've read it, you know that it will be a good fit for this, then you just click on add citation and it will add that citation here, which I think is a fabulous, fabulous tool. Because like how often have you caught yourself just like writing a text and you kind of go like, well, what's the reference here? I know I've read it somewhere, but where? <laughs> And you can't find it anymore because you've got like 150 texts, right? Or maybe, you know, you know, it's kind of a, a fact, but you don't have that reference in your, in your reference manager, 
right? So this is a fabulous tool, like really great job. And um, people at Jenny AI, I think this is this is amazing, right? And um, it can you can also upload text to your library, okay? So it's got this library in here uh, where you can click on the plus sign um, and upload um, your own sources either either in the PDF um, format, right? Um, so if you click on upload sources um, and you can select PDFs or you could import a bit text file from um, Zotro where you would go to Zotro, you would um, select um, which text you want to export, you would right click and export items as a bib text and then uh, pop that in to um, the library in Jenny, which I think is fantastic because what, what this allows you to do really is to, you know, is to have everything in one place. You know, it's not like writing in Microsoft Word where you're writing here, but everything like your text is somewhere else. You've got a reference manager and all that. Like Jenny is trying to combine that and I think it does a really good job. So um, points to Jenny here. Uh, I think it's a clear winner. Uh, PaperPal cannot um, do it, but of course, since it's a, a word plugin, you can just use Zotero or Mendeley or EndNote or whatever other uh, reference manager you're doing. So not, not a big deal, but PaperPal does not have this um, feature. Now, um, both of these um, tools also have an AI chat. So what this allows you to do is, it's basically like an AI assistant. So imagine like you just, have a colleague sitting next to you 24 seven who, you know, has all the internet knowledge in their head and you can just ask them any questions and they spit out the answers in five seconds. And most of those answers are accurate. That's, that's pretty cool, right? So that's basically the AI assistant called Ask Jenny that Jenny um, has, right? And um, I think it's, you know, it's much more accurate than a lot of other AI assistants that I've seen. Um, especially, for example, something like um, ChatGPT, which tends to just kind of like invent stuff and has what are called hallucinations and it invents references and all that kind of stuff. Um, Jenny does not do that. I think it's pretty accurate. Obviously, still, as a researcher, you have to use your own knowledge and your own skills to be able to validate whether these answers make sense or not. But I think it's a great tool to have um, in here. You can see I, um, I asked it a, a question right? Uh, so for example, you know, you're writing the literature review and you're like, okay, well, in this section, I'm talking about topic X. Well, what are some areas within topic X that researchers have already studied, right? You can ask that question to Jenny and Jenny will give you a great answer, right? And since I know the topic, I know these references, they actually exist. Uh, and, you know, it's a pretty accurate answer. So you can then, you know, the great thing that you can do, of course, is you could take this, pop it into your outline, into a section, so that you have a more accurate outline, right? Or you could click on those references in here to continue reading those texts further. And again, everything is kind of in one place, which I really like. So you've got the, the text editor, and at the same time, you're, you know, you can be chatting with um, AI getting answers that you can use to continue writing your text. You don't have to go to another website like ChatGPT, for example. Now, while PaperPal, you know, does have the same um, feature, um, it's called Brainstorm. It's much more limited, right? I've I've tested it several times, and you know, while it does on general questions. So like, I think it's it's more, it's better for like asking general advice, like how should I approach my professor to propose a research idea, those kind of things, right? Um, when it comes to actual like literature review output, for example, it performs much worse than Jenny AI in, in my tests. It certainly doesn't give you accurate references. It doesn't give you any references for that matter. Um, when I try to generate um, an outline for a literature review on a certain topic of a literature review chapter, it gave me a pretty bad answer. So I don't think it's that good. It's, it's better perhaps for those, as I said, brainstorming general questions, but nothing too in-depth. So again, I think points for Jenny, I think this works much better and really kudos for integrating references here. And I think, you know, since it can read your PDFs in your library, the more PDFs you upload to your library, the better answers Jenny will actually give you. So I think, you know, this is clear, clear winner here. Now, um, I'll just kind of quickly go over 
a bunch of features that are pretty much the same in Jenny and PaperPal. And these have to do with kind of rewriting your text. Okay, so if you've written a text and you select it, right, you can click on AI commands and there are a couple of features which are pretty much the same in Jenny AI and PaperPal. Okay, um, so it's improving the fluency of your writing, paraphrasing, simplifying a text, making it longer, which I think is a, is a great um, little hack when you get stuck. And maybe you've written a sentence or two, but you don't know how to expand it, right? Jenny AI and PaperPal can help you with that. They can translate, summarize, or write an opposing argument. And you'll see um, it's pretty much, um, it's very similar um, in here. So if you go to the rewrite, you can paraphrase, you can make it shorter, you can make it more academic, or you can also find synonyms of words. So similar features, but I think Jenny AI is the winner here. It's got a few more things uh, I think that it allows you to do, like make longer, for example, overall improve the fluency, which um, you know is an advantage over PayPal. PaperPal. Uh, PaperPal does allow you to translate um, as well. Um, you would have to have text um, in your um, editor in here. Now I'm going to show you one feature where I think PaperPal truly, truly excels and is much better than Jenny AI. And then I'll show you at the end of this video another feature of Jenny AI where I think Jenny excels, but at the same time, it's probably the biggest problem um, with Jenny AI as well. So stick around until the end. So um, I've just opened a text um, in here because for it to, for PaperPal to really do its magic, you already want to have some sort of a text um, written, okay? Uh, now, what it's, the, the feature that I think really makes it stand out um, in comparison to Jenny is, you know, its ability to scan the whole text and then suggest specific improvements for that particular text that you've been writing. So I think this is fantastic if you already have text that you've you've generated, right? Or um, parts of uh, text. So you can see, you know, um, there are 34, 37 sentences just continuing to scan um, text, right? And it's suggesting things under different headings, right? So I've got spelling, um, possessives and punctuations, capitalization spelling, determiner, error, spelling, right? So it's basically like Grammarly, but on AI steroids. And I think this is, this is a huge advantage for people, most of us, who have already written something and they want to get it checked really quickly. So to me, PaperPal in this feature, clear winner. Um, if Jenny AI could implement something similar, and especially with the word plugin, I think Jenny AI would be unbeatable. Are these, are all these suggestions accurate? No. So, you know, if you've ever wondered, can AI just completely replace like good old editing and working with professionals to help you to write an excellent thesis or papers? No. Um, because, you know, for example, this suggestion here that it gives me that a B shouldn't be capitalized, that's not accurate because all content words are typically capitalized. Is it true that N shouldn't be capitalized? Yes, that's true, right? Uh, so you still have to kind of review it. Um, many of those suggestions will be correct but not all of them, right? So you still have to review it. Nevertheless, I think this is a fantastic feature to scan your text and correct most of the sort of most obvious mistakes. Okay, so great job PaperPal um, here. Now, I told you that I would now show you a feature of Jenny AI where I think Jenny AI truly excels, but at the same time, it's actually a big problem of Jenny AI. What do I mean by that? What you can see here, Jenny AI suggested how I should continue writing this sentence and I can accept it, right? And then I can, you know, I can continue writing. And Jenny will just suggest sentences to me, which I think is, is brilliant. These sentences are actually pretty good. They make sense. The text actually flows pretty well. So I think it's a really cool feature and you know, it's a clear winner over PaperPal. But at the same time, this is very problematic because you're using AI to write a text for you. Now, if you go to 
any good journals recommendations for AI use, what you will find is that AI should be used to improve the readability of your text. That means AI should be used in the same sense that proofreading services are used, for example, to improve your grammar, uh, to improve the flow of your text, right, the structure of paragraphs, to correct any mistakes with language and so on. But it can be used to generate text. So this is a great feature, but at the same time, I think it's very problematic because if you're not careful, you're going to start generating lots of texts that are that come up as plagiarized or AI generated. So I'd be very, very careful with accepting um, Jenny's suggestions without rewriting them yourself, especially that Jenny doesn't have a plagiarism checker. It used to have a plagiarism checker, but they got rid of it, right? Uh, which makes the, this feature particularly even more problematic. So if you're worried about you know, the use of AI, I think PaperPal, with just using it for, you know, for scanning your text and correcting your uh, mistakes with the language or consistency is much safer. This is not going to lead to plagiarism. If you're using Jenny AI, please make sure that you don't just accept all the sentences that she gives you and treat them as your own, because they're not your own, they were generated by Jenny AI. And on that note, one last feature that I think is really important, and I kind of hinted on it, plagiarism checker. Unfortunately, Jenny AI got rid of it. PaperPal does have a plagiarism checker. It's only available on the, on the website um, in here, so it's plagiarism check, right? You can also, I think, see it uh, here. If you go to checks and then you click on plagiarism checker, it will take you there and um, it's um, you know, limited depending on the plan that, that you've got, limited to 7,000 words. So you might have to cut your text you know, into shorter documents. Um, it's in part partnership with Turnitin, which is a really good plagiarism detector used by most universities, many journals and so on. So I think this is a great um, feature to have it. It's a shame, I think, that Jenny AI uh, took it out. Surely they could partner with Turnitin as well and have that feature built in here when it's sort of, as you're writing it, in the editor and um, you know at the same time it shows you what might come up as plagiarism that would really help because i think this feature of jenny ai suggesting sentences for you as much as i think it's it's scarily accurate and really good it might lead to a lot of plagiarism if you're not careful so that's it that was a comparison between jenny ai and paper poll if you want to use any of the paid plans the links are in the description for Jenny AI. You can use Myrek20 uh, coupon code, which is in the description as well, to get 20% off. And you know, if you actually want to learn the skills of writing papers regularly and publishing them in top journals and be able to do that yourself rather than rely on proofreading or AI, then book a call with us. Uh, we're gonna sit down with you for 45 minutes, one-to-one, -one, and discuss what your challenges are what is it that you want to achieve and see how and if we might be able to help you. And the link to schedule that free one-to-one -one consultation is below the video and in the comments.